my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our eighth lesson on a given form two mathematics topic called linear motion. So we are looking at our example number 11, which is also a past case equation done in 2014, paper one question number 19. And it reads that the figure below represents a speed time graph, meaning that the vertical axis will have the speed. Then of course the horizontal axis will have the time for a cheetah which covered a distance of uh, 8 25 meters in 40 seconds. So part A of the question we are told to state the speed of the cheetah when recording of its motion started. So of course recording of the motion started when the time was 0 seconds. So at the point when time is 0 seconds the speed will be at the speed of the cheetah when the motion started. So when time is zero, the speed of the cheetah is actually uh, 15 meters per second. Therefore, for part A, the answer will be 15 meters per second. So it's like they're asking us to uh, give the initial speed. So the initial speed corresponds to the speed when time is zero seconds, which of course is 15 meters per second in this particular case. Then part B of the question, we are told to calculate uh, the maximum a speed attained by the cheetah. So the maximum speed will be the speed at this particular point. That is the highest uh, possible speed attained in this particular uh, journey. So because I'm asked to find the maximum speed, I'm going to let that maximum speed to be x meters per second. Then I'm going to work with what I'm given because uh, in the question we are told that uh, we are told that the figure below represents a speed time graph. Uh, for a cheetah which covered a distance of uh, 825 meters in uh, 40 seconds. So we are given the total speed. Then we know that uh, the area under a speed time graph should always give you the distance. So we know that the area, the area under a speed time graph, the area under a speed uh, time graph uh, should always be equal to uh, the distance covered. So this one should be equal to uh, the distance uh, covered which will be given by so if we look at this particular area under the curve we can subdivide it into uh, two uh, figures so I can subdivide this particular area into uh, two such that we are going to have uh, this area from this other uh, side so I can subdivide it into two so I can have uh, this area here so I can label these uh, maybe my area A. So I'll let this to be my area A. Then of course this other one to be my area B such that this is representing my area B. So if we look at A, the A, its shape is a trapezium. Similarly, B is also a trapezium. So that simply means that the area under the curve will be the area of the first trapezium, which is of course A plus B multiplied by height, then plus the second trapezium, which is also uh, a half into a plus b then multiplied by height then these two should give us the total distance which was covered which we are given as 825 meters so our first trapezium these are the two uh, parallel uh, sides therefore uh, this will be equal to a half into so our a will be the first parallel side which is uh, 0 minus uh, 15 meters per second which will just give us uh, 15 meters per second then you are going to add uh, area B that is uh, the second parallel side will be this distance here which is actually 0 up to X uh, which is X minus 0 which is going to give you uh, that is X uh, meters per second then the height will be the distance uh, in between uh, these parallel sides which is actually 0 minus uh, 10 seconds which of course will give us uh, 10 then plus for the second uh, trapezium, the parallel sides, we have uh, this side and this other uh, side here. Therefore, we are going to add, uh, so this will be a half into A and B are usually the parallel sides. So the smaller parallel side will be uh, the distance from this point up to this point, which is actually uh, 10, that is 20 seconds minus 10 seconds, which is going to give us uh, 10 seconds. Huh? Then minus, the other one will be the distance from this point up to this point, which is actually 40 
minus 10 seconds so this is uh this distance here a uh, 40 minus 10 i'm going to get a uh, 30 seconds so uh, plus 30 then multiplied by the perpendicular height between the parallel sides will be the distance uh this distance here uh the perpendicular height between the two parallel sides will be zero minus x which of course will be uh x meters per second so multiplied by x then the whole of this should give us 825 meters so uh this will be equal to so of course i'm going to have a half multiplied by i'll take 10 to this other side then of course into uh 15 then plus x then i'm going to add uh, a half into if i take 10 plus 30 i'm going to get uh, 40 then i'm going to multiply with x so this should give me uh, 825 meters of course uh 2 uh 2 into 2 1 2 into 10 that is 5 times so we are going to remain with uh 5 into uh 15 then plus x uh which should be uh then we are going to add of course 2 into 2 1 2 into 40 that is 20 times therefore you are going to remain with uh, 20 x which should give us 825 so that gives us uh, 825 then i need to separate these two so that i'm going to have uh, the following so if i open this bracket i'm going to have 5 multiplied by 15 which is going to give me a uh, 75 therefore i have 75 then plus uh, 5x then of course plus uh, 20x which should give me 825 if i add the like terms of course 5x plus uh, 20x i'm going to get 25x which should be equal to then i'll take 75 to the other side so that i get 825 then minus 75 which should give me a 750 so this is 750 then i'm going to divide through by 25 i also divide through by 25 so the value of x uh, will be equal to 750 divided by 25 uh, which is going to give me uh, 30 so this gives me 30 but what was x representing x was representing distance in meters per second therefore it means my x will be 30 uh, meters per second so this one implies that at this particular point uh, we have 30 meters per second so remember part a uh, that is part b wanted us to calculate the maximum speed attained by the cheetah therefore the maximum speed was 30 meters per second then we can also look at part b that is a part c of the question we are asked to calculate the acceleration of the cheetah uh, roman one uh, in the first 10 seconds in the first 10 seconds so we know that acceleration is equals to change in velocity divided by time so final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time taken so we are asked in the first 10 seconds so if you look at the question uh in the first 10 seconds of the journey it is simply the movement between uh these two uh points here therefore the final velocity for this acceleration will be uh x which is 30 uh, meters per second which will give us so our v final velocity is 30 meters per second minus the initial velocity is uh this velocity here which is uh 15 uh, meters per second then divided by the time taken from this point to this point of course is uh, 10 minus 0 which is actually uh, 10 seconds so this is going to give us 30 minus 15 you'll get 15 then divided by 10 which is going to give us an acceleration of uh, 1.5 1.5 meters per second squared so that is the acceleration of our body in the first uh, 10 seconds of this particular journey then uh, we are going to move to uh, that is Roman 2 part C Roman 2 uh, of the question uh, I think this should be part C yeah we can uh, modify it this should be part C of the question not part B because we have already answered uh, part B so this is uh, part C Roman 1 then we can move to part C Roman 2 uh, we are asked to also calculate the acceleration of the cheetah uh, in the last 20 seconds uh, in the last 
20 uh, seconds. So if you check the last 20 seconds, we are having this particular motion. Huh? This is what they want us to uh, determine because these are the last uh, 20 seconds that we are talking about. So that simply means that acceleration, of course, is um, change in velocity, uh, V minus U divided by time, which should give us. So the final velocity for this particular motion, because it is decelerating up to zero, so the final velocity will be uh, zero meters per second minus the initial velocity is the velocity at this point, which of course is our X, which was uh, 30 meters per second. Then divided by the time taken from this point up to this point, of course, we are going to have 20 uh, seconds. So divided by 20. So this one is going to give me negative 30 divided by 20, which is going to give us a uh, negative, uh, negative uh, 30 divided by a positive 20. You'll get negative 1.5. So this is negative 1.5 meters per second squared. So this is the acceleration of the body in the last 20 seconds but if the question was the deceleration of the body in the last 20 seconds then the answer will be remember deceleration is the negative of acceleration therefore the answer will be at uh, the negative of acceleration is negative 1.5 meters per second squared so the answer will be positive 1.5 meters per second squared but because the question wants uh, acceleration we are going to leave it as uh, a negative because we can see during the last 20 seconds actually uh, the body is decelerating because its initial speed which is 30 meters per second is greater than the final speed which is 0 meters per second of course which is corresponding to uh, this part here then uh, we are going to move to part C of uh, that is part D of our question so in part D of the question, um, the examiner wants us to uh, compute uh, or to calculate the speed, uh, calculate the average speed of the cheetah in the first 20 seconds. The average speed of the cheetah in the first 20 seconds. So if we look at the first 20 seconds, they are, we are moving up to this particular point. Huh? So in short, this is what we need to use. Uh, this is what we need to use. I can shade it, uh, maybe using a different ink so that you can see what we are talking about. So this is what we want uh, in the first 20 seconds. So remember speed is equals to distance uh, divided by time. So that means in part D, the average speed. Uh, so average speed, uh, average uh, speed will always be given by uh, the total distance, total uh, distance covered then divided by uh, the time taken, uh, the total time taken. Therefore, we need to find the total distance in the first 20 seconds, which should be equal to, so I'm going to sketch uh, uh, the curve that we are talking about. So this is uh, the curve that we are talking uh, about. So up to this point, I'm just going to pick it up to uh, the first 20 seconds. It will be up to this point. Uh, then of course we have this so this is the figure that we are talking about of course this is our 10 seconds this is the 10 second mark uh, 10 second of course this is uh, zero then this is our 20th uh, second mark then of course this point was uh, we got it as 30 uh, meters per second so the total distance will be equal to uh, total distance of course will be equal to the area under the curve is equals to the area under the curve area uh, under the speed time graph uh, speed time graph which is going to give us so if i look at the um, the shape the shape is actually consisting of uh, two figures huh? so one we have figure a here so maybe let me use a different ink we have figure a which is a trapezium then we have figure b which is a rectangle Therefore, the total distance will be equal to the area of this particular trapezium, whereby the parallel sides will be this side and this side here. So this will be a half into A plus B multiplied by height. So our A will be the distance from, uh, I can let this to be A and this one to be B. So the A will be the distance up to this point, which was uh, actually 15. So 0 up to 15. Huh? So my A is 15 then plus the B will be from here up to this point here. This was the 30 
um, um, meters per second, so plus 30. Then the height will be the uh, distance between the parallel sides, which actually is our 10 seconds. Huh? So multiplied by 10 seconds, then plus. Uh, the other shape is a B, which is a rectangle. Area of the rectangle is length times width. So I will let this to be my width, then this one to be uh, the length. So the width is uh, 20 minus 10, of course, which is 10, then multiplied by uh, the height, that is the length, which is uh, uh, 0 up to 30. So the distance, you can see this will be 30 meters per second. So multiplied by 30. So this will give me uh, a half into, if I take 15 uh, plus 30, I'm going to get 45. So a half of 45, uh, a half of 45, then I multiply with 10. Then plus 10 by 30, I'm going to get 300. So this will give me, of course, a half multiplied by 10, I'm going to get 5. So if you take 5 multiplied by 45, we are going to get 225. So this will give us 225, then plus 300, which is going to uh, give me, uh, so I can create some space on this other side here. Uh, so that means that I'm going to have... Uh, the following so the total distance uh, will be equal to uh, the total distance uh, will give me total distance will be 225 plus 300 I'm going to get 525 so the distance is 525 uh, meters therefore the average speed average speed average speed will be the total distance divided by the time taken total distance is 525 uh, meters divided by the time taken uh, in the first 20 seconds of course will be the 20 second uh, that is from here up to this point so divided by uh, 20 seconds so this will give me 525 divided by 20 I'm going to get uh, a average speed of 26.25 meters per second 26.25 meters per second Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tushan